Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now uh, today is a Friday. I think uh, it's uh, March uh, 12th, uh, 2021. And I'm up here in uh, Capitol Hill, Saipan. I'm in Capitol Hill, Saipan, and uh, I'm uh, located here at the uh, cinema, uh, cinema scholarship office. Okay, so my name is Fabian in the lace again, and uh, I'm gonna be kind of like uh, gathering. Uh, information and I'm going to you know, ask uh, maybe uh, uh, brochures or application and so forth and uh, I know some of you guys are you know uh, what do you call it getting to graduate in high school are gonna do this uh, uh, application you know with the scholarship cinema scholarship office and maybe this is a good time to to kind of like uh, in tune right now as to maybe what I'm gonna go in there and ask question about this some of you guys are in the mainland that you guys are receiving scholarships so I uh, just kind of stay tuned and let's see how this uh, live video is gonna you know, follow through on some of the concern that you may also have no so I'm up here in uh, Capitol Hill and let's see uh, Capitol Hill and uh, building for the scholarship office so I'm over here at the cinema scholarship office no so you guys got uh, a col color box uh, 100017 uh, <laughs> api nice drive zero and so forth no uh, you got the 6644750 or two uh, so you know those are the website you, you can go inside uh, the uh, facebook probably or whatever you call scholarship award at cinema scholarship dot net and for the compliance, it's a compliance at cinema scholarship dot net. So those are the information we have here. It's a financial assistance for eligible cinema resident pursuing a post-secondary education. Uh, with that, uh, you know, in uh, 1978, uh, uh, 79, well, I was a graduate of 79, and uh, I was a recipient of this uh a cinema scholarship of uh, scholarship grant. <laughs> yeah, so back then it was uh, Miss uh, Hilaria Santos, you know. So I was a recipient, and uh, you know, maybe I just gonna update myself on uh, what information uh, you know uh, we're gonna learn from. You no, know? so stay tuned. Hello, oh, naga 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 da be poli dokumas. Uh, information I see, yeah, the basic information that uh, maybe it's good to also promote the, uh, the, the office you now of what we have because maybe we have a lot of uh, students in the mainland, maybe excited to see also the building. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, so basic information actually. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 but, but I'm just uh, <laughs> impromptu. Okay, thank you. Uh, and I'm fighting with my mask, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so, but yeah, I'm I'm up here. I'm up here uh, in the scholarship office, and maybe some of you guys are already eating dinner in the mainland. And uh, we have a wonderful lady, here, you know, that is gonna know, uh, you know, <laughs> help us with all the information. So, you know, maybe some of you guys, like I said, in the mainland, uh, eating dinner and maybe watching me already. And uh, I'm just outside in the front. Uh, starting with the front and the building that you missed so dearly or maybe you guys just didn't have an opportunity to see how this so i'll just go ahead and sign in first sign in sign in okay here's the signing and you know as you know oh no no we're in the covid now and uh we have to do all this stuff and log in three of nine uh 12 uh 21 time i don't know what time is 1 30 no <laughs> okay so one forty and see Fabian in the laser. Hmm, contact two eight six zero one six. At you know, Fernando, Fernando, I guess low no. You know, come on, come on, time. It's okay. We can uh, set a schedule. No, sure, sure. no, we have to. Yes. Oh no, right now no. I, I'm kind of gathering information. Maybe we start from the application. Uh, sure. uh, staff and you have brochure for me to yeah, update yeah, myself. So yeah, so while they're, while you're maybe staff are gathering that, uh, for you to, for me to take it. Sure, and, and, <laughs> oh, it's all over here. Okay. Also, so, oh, wow. Very squared away. Very squared. Uh, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I try to look into this because thank you, thank you yeah uh, and uh, you know if you need any new person to testify you know to About support that? what you're you know it's uh, like what we're asking you're gonna testify for us of course okay, more you. money thank is you. more no, more focus on your <laughs> education more than uh, yeah. you know uh, trying to work and you know maybe perhaps some people out there bring their family to the mainland to educate uh, yeah, improve yeah. their education and so forth and also noted in the area of uh you guys are are also you know, having that class in there that when somebody is uh, graduated from... They have to come back and work. Oh, they have to come back. Yeah. And that's because still in there, no? Yes, it is. It is. Okay, can you tell me a little bit what is the... So, so what it is, is if we help you and you receive scholarship from our office. There's okay. a, an agreement. Okay, agreement. That we help finance your education and you promise to come back and, and you, work in uh, the CNMI, huh? Okay, so, so you... So we give back to our community. Okay. Now, if you decide to stay in the States, then, of course, you got to pay it back so we can give other, other kids, uh -huh. future kids, no? Yeah. It's not fair that... I helped you and you stayed over there and then no more yeah, for the other yeah. kids. So maybe if you're going to be helping us, maybe you know very more solid uh, amount of money yes, definitely. should be increased because... Yes, yes, yeah. yes, we are working yeah. on that. You just, uh, uh, Mildred, you just share with me that uh, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> some people are still working yes. uh, in lieu of you know, having to, for you guys to uh, you know, help us. Yes. No, yes, yes. with uh, almost no what uh, change we have in the cinema, <laughs> yes. you know. So that's a very you new know, sad uh, uh, exchange to say that you know, we're gonna give you four hundred, and after you graduate, you're gonna come home, and then you, know, you you you're required that we're, you know, you're required to work yeah, we're, for a couple trying, years. We're trying to send you some money, yeah. so whatever uh, they appropriate to our office. Mm -hmm. That's what we give to our kids, and so, I understand where you stand as far as. Uh, being fair, you know, with receiving this X amount of money and having to yeah. work. But it's also in the agreement. Yeah. If you take the money, then you promise to come and work. Promise? It's, it's, so, what, uh, so what did you promise as far as job? I'm sorry, they yeah. have to come here and, 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 and work. secure yeah. Is there Yeah, is there any uh, plan of the government to ensure that, you know, if, if we're going to plan to come back and there's no job, how can we be faithful? I cannot speak on behalf of uh, Labor OPM. Mm -hmm. I only can speak on behalf of our office. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that would be something you can take up with the uh, With the Labor? OPM. Yeah, that's a good no, yes. no comment on that, you know. <laughs> but honest, yeah, I know, I know, but uh, those are the concerns that you know, a lot of the citizens, we, we all as college graduates, you know, kind of concern how we come home. Mm -hmm. No, and end up you no know, having to comply in good faith of uh, trying to come home, and then all of a sudden we're faced with uh, unemployed, you no know, uh, you know, lack of job, and yes. you know. Uh, yes, uh, so how, you, how you so if you if you uh, come home and there's no job available, so uh, there's no job available. We also have a program called deferment. They can request for maybe another three months as they. Continue to look for a job. Yeah, how long is that uh, maybe? Uh, they, they request depending on, on their situation. So some have been granted three months, six months, a uh -huh. year, depending on their situation. A year, two years, ten years. No, 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 no. That's too much so, already. That's so if it. I'm here on the island, uh -huh. Mildred, and I'm keep no, trying to apply for a job, no, and I'm right. still unsuccessful for two, three years, no. Uh, already two years is already the max. Okay, so what are you what are you gonna do? Then you're gonna have to um, be in default and have to repay it back. Wow. Yeah. So we all go to court for that, no? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But if we need to court, uh, uh, that's a very brutal yeah. way of no, looking but, at that. So what is the government gonna in place on that? As far as I, no, I cannot speak for OPM. Uh, I think you should bring this up with yeah, the Yeah, that's a good no concern, but, eh, yes, because it is, it is. yeah, you know, you pay no, you know, quarters and dime, and you expect us to come back and work for you know, no, a dollar, and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maras will stay in America to, to, to work for $10 an hour when I cannot come. That's, that, that's the choice that the student uh, makes. Uh -huh. no, yeah. we, we give it up, you know, we leave it up to them. If they feel that there's more money in the state then, and they're better off there, mm -hmm. then all you have to do is pay, us, pay the office. I mean, there's scholarship back so we can have that money for our mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah. So where is where's this uh, scholarship appropriated from? The tax, do you only the taxpayer, or do you know that for a fact, or we is it from, from the It's appropriated from the the legislature to our budget. Uh oh, -uh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's what uh, so, what about the uh, financial uh, uh, loan? 
You've been the loan. You have. You, you're you're offering loans. We do have loans for graduate program, and that again is being procured. Uh, yeah, but not for undergraduate, because yeah. I was a. Uh, no, no, not yeah. for undergraduate. Yeah, I was the lucky one when they waiver that. Oh really? So we yeah. waiver everything. Though. I think Governor come out to waiver it, and uh, God bless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of no concern, you know, about the college student having to offer uh, an essay, you know, uh, you know, make decision, you mm -hmm. know. Whether, like you said, you get a good point that no, no, I'll just pay you back the the, money that the ten dollars that you make me you know, yeah. feel like you know you, you <laughs> because of your assistant I graduated <laughs> college. Honestly, you no, know, feels good to say that you no, know, lucky I work three jobs <laughs> and then I'm gonna come home for nothing. <laughs> anyway, no, no. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Let me see if I have okay. some information here that I can give yeah, you please, yeah. and then you can share it with uh -uh. your viewers. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to look into this uh, about how then can the government ties the, that is, yeah, um, yeah, the concern of you know, people graduating from college, coming home, mm -hmm. and having to face the, you know, how do you say, of a tarot sa guano. The G financial scholar, uh, the application? There's no application, it's all online, it's uh, yeah. they just go on our website, they just look at the card. Uh, do you have any information, like uh, maybe you know, how you know, the board you know, like uh, you know, who are the boards and stuff like uh, that? That information the top is, no, 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 they're not talking, they're all there, I'm just going to make sure. Oh, just send go inside them, there. Send them there, yeah. even you, uh, go in uh, there, we're yeah. all there, even me, I'm there, the board's mm, there. Yeah. So, um, all the information about... Don't run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, you know, all of these are just impromptu that uh, maybe perhaps... That's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I no, your yeah, Thank yeah. You so, anyway, process. like I said, I'm just addressing, you yes, know, what yes, the, you. the scholarship that you guys know. I hope we answered some of your questions. Uh, if not, whoever has uh, concerns about uh -huh. all this, uh, can, I, can I uh, make a point with you so I can be sure. also... No, Written, write, write down. Uh, sure. Okay, when so we, how about uh, when Monday is good? We are on Tuesday? Tuesday, uh, maybe in the afternoon. In the afternoon? The what time? In the afternoon, maybe ah, one o'clock. One o'clock, no, so I can bring no more no, of an amnesty question sure, sure. that uh, ties into the scholarship that. office. Okay. Okay, so there goes Mildred. <laughs> We're going to have a, what is it like, a one o'clock or is it one? o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. I'm going to have more. Uh, so you better be writing your comment there <laughs> of what uh, to ask Mildred. Uh, right. Especially plenty of you guys. Know. Oh, one more. Uh, yeah. How many new uh, uh, scholarship recipients right now are just top of your head? I believe it's 500, 500? Approved, yeah. Oh, 500 approved? From last semester. So we're working on spring semester now and that's in process. So 500 approved. So that means that you know, there's numbers that were disapproved? Yes. So how many disapproved? Uh, just a few, I think about 30. 30, so 500. Hey, how many of you guys out there? <laughs> apply, apply. <laughs> yeah, okay. So okay. I was, like I said, one of the recipients. You know, uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I'm in the scholar uh, over here at the scholarship office, and I'm, you know, just trying to you know, learn, update myself with all the apparently information so I can share with you. And if, if you have any question there, because I'm gonna meet with Mildred again uh, uh, Monday at one o'clock and uh, oh Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Okay, bye bye, Mildred. Okay, take care. So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna know uh, what do you call that? Like you can see some of the you know challenges question that I asked. So for Mildred, it's like I uh, go someplace else. <laughs> anyway, I uh, they, but uh, this uh, concern that I have is just kind of like a 40 year old concern. <laughs> <laughs> what is the government doing to uh, show you guys that no, uh, you know, what no food stamp they give you, you have to come home and uh, <laughs> they're giving you food stamp so you go out and work your, your hard working money while you're going to college and then, you know, it's almost like a clause of uh, demanding. But like, uh, like she said, Mildred said, uh, you know, no, it's up to you. It's up to you to pay it back, but pay it back. Come on. You don't have program to assure you. As a, you know, like, uh, it's almost like, uh, how do I say? 
uh, the question is what is the goal of the scholarship no what is the mission of the scholarship so it's almost like a take it or leave it pay us back take it or leave it take us back we, we don't uh, we don't care <laughs> that's how i feel i sense that no no you know that once you become a doctor lawyer or you know uh you know uh, you have a specialized field no uh you know that take it or leave it mr indales you know go and uh, ask your question someplace else because we give you full stamina and uh, you know you don't want to come home to give us no we are no million dollar no skills <laughs> uh, go someplace else stay in america and pay us back our first time i'm just being sarcastic but uh you know these are people over here you know uh we all know sometimes that poli uh, scholarship is political yeah <coughs> so i'm just trying to address uh this kind of uh concern that no uh, you know you have to swim your way into the the no jobs here in saipan either political or in the government or in the in the private sectors and uh, what are the government doing to you know ensure that you no know, those are enforced as far as the uh, the, <coughs> the public sector you know the businesses you know hotels and things like that uh right now so you know some people are against the 15 dollars uh raise as a standard labor no wage uh well no all the business are like no 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 uh uh, what do you call that? Don't don't raise it to the fifteen dollars uh, an hour. Someone more I mean, you know, we're gonna die. Uh, but we're good. We're here in Saipan, and we're investing, and we're not gonna get out here because we're okay. But don't know. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, there's a lot of no kind of a tug of war issue here in Saipan. No, no, my friends. You know, I think for me, uh, just. No, accept the scholarship food stamp and uh, you know whatever you can get and stay over there for $15 an hour don't come back here for no 50% off <laughs> and uh, it's just a vicious cycle it's a uh, very no concerning and uh, sad that no you know this kind of issue it's been 40 years I have to come home, you no. Know? And I think more of it is uh some of it are, are basically the intent of our choices that says you can come home, serve us because you're you know that's why we like to to have leaders here with education. No? And at least uh, I we plead you plead plead it with you. We're gonna plead it with you that uh at least you can stay or stick around for two years you know until you decide to either you no know, move somewhere else in america or guam or someplace that is better you no know, to to earn your living but now i hear some leaders like uh just serve us two years and uh, no we'll fire you and <laughs> because at least you served two years already <laughs> like uh is that really the intent is to use the law <laughs> the law that says no serve two years and no after that no politically you're fired <laughs> so it's kind of a no one is saying no please come back home with your education <laughs> because we we help you like as if they really did <laughs> uh, yeah, they, those uh the scholarship office is just almost like a you know, one uh, Sunday picnic expenses, <laughs> and they they, you know, they look at me like, uh, yeah, and uh, we give you, you no know, every semester, <laughs> and uh, what <laughs> we give you, you no, know, you know, a budget. I mean, a uh, scholarship, you no, know, every semester for just as much as the you know the picnic on Sunday. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, these people are like so funny, and then uh, what, <laughs> what the. Uh, you're gonna no demand us to come home because no we give you food stamps that we're barely no surviving in the mainland i can make fun of that because i had to work out two three jobs to survive over there you know thank god i didn't uh, quit i was mopping no no floors restroom cleaning all kinds of shit uh, you name it 
and I stick around because you know I want to you know, return home <laughs> not because they gave me the scholarship <laughs> so these people want to demand us to come home because they gave us their you no know, no weekend you no know, change you no know, for picnic and <laughs> I, I I'm just resentful I guess that way they look at that you no know, what uh, every dollar they gonna they're gonna give us like our somehow yeah there's uh, people need to start waking up about you no know, the scholarship bullshit uh, at uh, you know <laughs> probably you know the staff there makes the budget of the staff there probably and the whole building and the lights and everything is 500 that's it uh, uh, 500 500 applicants to go to college with uh, every year there's like almost over a thousand uh, there's something I don't know <laughs> there's something I didn't know no folks uh, uh, make a comment so I can uh, read what uh, what you have okay so holy lord this a uh, scholarship no business that uh, what you call that what little they gave us and then they in place some kind of a demand like as if they're the one who make us graduate from college for you know the change to buy bunu <laughs> balai like, like uh, they try to be starring uh, to that no without their help uh, what uh, I would not have graduated <laughs> give me a break <laughs> <laughs> I let me put my mask so nobody knows me. <laughs> I had it. But uh, yes, uh, seriously, uh, those of you guys are in the mainland, uh, you know, right now, no attending college, and the college are very expensive, and I can uh, relate to you that uh, you're, you know, it's a struggle, and everybody, and... Uh, <clears throat> We, we all promote education, uh, mom and dad, also, uh, you know, from time to time, they share with the people around here, oh, my daughter, my son is uh, in college, studying for this and that, and so forth, and, you know, you know they're going to come home and, you know, serve for the community, and uh, we're going to highlight them, that congratulations, everybody writing, coming, congratulations, you know, I'm proud of you, you, you graduate, uh, you graduate college, uh, you know, God bless, you know, time to come home. It's time to come home uh, to serve the community. But the first question is, uh, are you Republican? <laughs> so, uh, you're not welcome if you're not. <laughs> you can take your degree and do, do go someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking sometimes, but yeah, politics can be very, you know, funny here. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if you have a college degree, if you have masters, uh, you know, then you're smart enough to, to make those decisions whether to come back home, <laughs> because no place like home, uh, until, you know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. but anyway, uh, people... Uh, but uh, yes, I was a graduate. Uh, I I seventy nine. Uh, I graduated in nineteen eighty eight. I graduated in nineteen eighty eight, and uh, you know, God bless Hilaria Santos that you know he's been pushing those scholarships. You know, sometimes you know it's hard life over there. And yes, I was a recipient of a. Uh, 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 food stamp and whatever I can avail that uh, is a benefit for being poor over there and uh, you know get to work I support myself and the family and all the bills and I can I can relate to all of you guys so with all those hardships and all those new new sweats and you know uh, sleepless night yes I sleep in I sleep inside the college uh, uh, of an honesty, I sleep in the college uh, table, like I'm looking at the professor and it, it was already like a, wake up. 
<laughs> because I, I I I I I work and then I I, I study <laughs> I study no pretty much all night and uh, you know yeah, I I can uh, relate so I think the bottom line is after we graduate all those hardships we work and so forth and live a struggle life in the mainland and to return back home at uh, that home that that home should be a home sweet home with everything uh, ready to go uh, with uh, the job that no yeah you know right now it's like that it is like uh, come back home and uh, good luck <laughs> and good luck you know you know you know we help you uh, you know three dollars uh, per semester uh, we we make you graduate like they claim in the credit that you graduate uh, we, you know you come home and you're required and uh, you know uh, if you don't like work come home and so <laughs> it's your choice <laughs> and you just pay us back those uh, uh, no, three dollars uh, total time so <laughs> I'm just being funny but uh, you know as much as it's funny it's for real <laughs> it's for real uh, guys uh, it's uh, never news it's to amaze me how this uh for after 40 years i can make fun of it because you know uh yeah <laughs> yeah even through the times you know i have to graduate new university of guam uh, earn my masters they don't have uh they didn't give me a penny for it and then all of a sudden on facebook you know I have my face with uh, the first lady and the governor that uh, somebody like, uh, you know, some guy, uh, uh, thanks to the scholarship office for this accomplishment that Mr. Nalesu earned his master. <laughs> so I, have to, I say, what the hell? Uh, yeah, they don't say true story. Don't, don't, don't do that to me because I earned my, my, uh, my graduate you know, diploma without any penny from this government. <laughs> But uh, yes, I'm just kind of following up what the government can do uh, thereafter, you know, uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, uh, local people uh, or, uh, you know, the Chamorro Carolinian and whatever, you know, the indigenous or the descendant of this uh, island, uh, we look into it because in the end, you know, we, we are going to be here, no? Uh, we, we're going to stay here uh, forever, no? So... You know, uh, yeah, I'm up here. Okay. We relax a little bit. <laughs> I hope I don't. Yeah, I'm up here. Uh, this is uh, the Commonwealth uh, Legislature. <laughs> Commonwealth Legislature. The U.S. flag. Cinema flag. Yeah, so I'm up here. Probably everybody's watching my, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> my life in there. Honorable Jesus Pangilinan Mofla, San Antonio. Yeah, SA, the man of SA. So, anyway. Okay, back to me. Yeah, so, anyway, what do I say? Uh, I think my, I'll just sit over here. Sit over here. I'm gonna sit. Yeah, I'm gonna sit over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, time to reflect on this uh, issue of you know, how do we tie the scholarship uh, program that also you know, if they want to brag about their help <laughs> they should you know, you know, propose a better a more you know, enticing you know, money that we're gonna focus because some of us you know we're gonna take four years to graduate it takes us uh, seven years because <laughs> seven years because you know in between the time we have to work we have to struggle you know uh, you know back then when I was going to college uh, people you know I have to uh, decide like uh, people around me were just like I'm gonna go home <laughs> heck with this shit I'm not gonna go up a uh, 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 restroom just to you know survive or you know, work at Kmart because of that <laughs> at home at least like, I have everything and uh, you know then then they fly home you know so I have to stick with stick it out until I graduate you no know, college with oh that kind of story then my kids like uh, I don't want to hear it <laughs> no I'm not trying to uh, bore you with that but. You guys, I know, you guys are struggling over in the mainland. I know. My heart is for you, and that's the reason why, uh, you know, I want to share that, uh, and I, 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 I sympathize with you guys. Continue on, be strong. Uh, try your best. It's just temporary, and I hope that just as much as it's temporary, what you're doing over there, I encourage you guys to, you know, to get educated, uh, education, and, uh, you know, if the cinema is, doesn't value, uh, you, 
and I feel that they, they don't value. They don't value. It's just like a robot, no senseless feeling that no, they have that no scholarship over there for what little no they have as if uh, you know no, <clears throat> uh, you know uh, we're just uh, uh, you know we're in the COVID, we're in the whatever no disaster, and uh, you know what little money no we have, and uh, you know whatever the governor he was uh, in this department to divide by do so everybody gets three hundred dollars per semester. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even uh, pay one rent, uh, one month rent, and uh, uh, I don't know. And then, uh, you know, uh, what I was, uh, was to say, I'm too busy, you know, trying to think, uh, you know, uh, yeah. They, so, yeah, uh, that's just my opinion, my view. You know, nobody's going to stop me to, to reflect on the life I have as far as to share and relate with you that new you know, I, I, I commend it to you that you left this island. That's the first step. That you left to this island. Some of you went to the military. God bless. Thank you for your service. Some of you guys decided to go to no, uh, college and uh, enhance uh, advanced education. Uh, we are all so proud here. And even I'm not your father, mother, I'm so proud. Uh, you know, hopefully all those new skills and uh, uh, experience. I mean, you may just want to stick around in the mainland too and earn the those experience and come back home and uh, you know, apply that you know, as long as you're a Republican. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It could be a Democrat you know, administration pretty soon, but... <laughs> but oh, this shit. Uh, yeah, they're pretty soon the, the police going to come here and you no know, you know, arrest me because maybe uh, and I'm on life. But it's, uh, you know, are you okay, Mr. Lacey? We're going to arrest you because I look like you're just uh, laughing by yourself or what? No, 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 no. I, I love it. But, uh, what do you call that? No. Uh, yeah. No? So, I think my dream to really no, wake up some people, how seriousness the, the struggle is in the mainland, how seriousness it is to really no, no, having to obtain that no, education at the whole nine yard, and in order for us to focus, I think no, the government just... Uh, senseless they disregard all those hardship and they just uh kind of like a uh, no here a dessert <laughs> no go to school <laughs> here's a uh, no bread and water and uh you know no you better come home for two years <laughs> uh, two years and uh, it's a kind of like you know you can interpret that in any way uh two years but actually you're home but you're trapped already to work but uh you know Pray that uh, they don't fire you or terminate you or whatever it is. Uh, be bad this, be bad that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So the reality to this island is just uh, a unique, unique, unique political you know, interconnection of everything. Yeah. So I, I, you know, we need to to be mindful of our leaders and who we're voting and who we trust and who know what platform they have if they are really no no a platform that uh, you look that you have so even if the platform there's many things you have to know take in consideration whether the platform is just uh, right there on the paper and then their brain is uh, no known to be no some kind of a uh, no liar and all kinds of stuff so uh, when you come home, no, uh, home sweet home, uh, it's almost like a home beater home. <laughs> I pray that no, you're coming home, no, stepping down the airplane and with all that chin up, right, and everything. And uh, what? hopefully that you have a connection to to apply for the job. I think it's uh, more of an attitude right now. Of, uh, Here's a uh, dessert, bread and water, go to school, four years, five years, come home, uh, you know, no, just finish the two years and uh, no, no, pray that no, nobody fire you and uh, no, just, uh, no, that's all we need is uh, two years and uh, after that we, we got you, no, we got you to, to, to bully you around <laughs> uh, because you better about this side or that side. <laughs> and, but uh, you know, like I said, nah, let's talk, that's in the government. So don't take me wrong. <laughs> but then in the business sector, like a big, huge hotel and so forth, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm misinformed, but uh, in my eyes and from what I know, I've been living here for 30 years, that uh, most of the the workers uh, are from the outside, no? Uh, the, the business sector is rather new. Uh, 
<coughs> hire the people from the outside. But uh, that's just my view. Yeah. But then the uh, us new uh, educated people that uh, have experience and have a degree and you name it, the quality, you know, the standard of uh, the quality of who you are to bring it home is, uh, I don't know if uh, people are really tapping into it. No, uh, it's not an issue right now. It's just not, uh, it's not something that it should be in there to be discussed in front of the chamber, the, you know, everything, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope nobody will, will attack me from inside. Like, what are you talking about? We will be watching in there. Hmm. But uh, it should be addressed from legislature, senators, governors. Uh, what are we doing to address uh, the transition of college uh, students, our citizens that went abroad, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, having to... Uh, having to be a uh, uh, good diplomatic with the business sector but uh, even the business sector <laughs> is probably no uh, you know the government is the puppet <laughs> yeah that's my views that's my views i i love you all no honestly yeah but we have old dreams no to return home to saipan and uh, make saipan our our, our Established home because it's, you're returning back home. No, no place like home. No place like home. All right. So with that, I'm gonna go inside and uh, you know, <coughs> bother some people in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, yeah. I'm gonna know. Uh, what do you call that? Just learn a little bit of the safer and uh, cinema scholarship. Maybe what I know is very old, but I still the same trend of uh, ideas no the same ideas of what's happening and uh, yeah and now i can relate because it's happening all right bye bye adios and um, i'll just uh, stay tuned because i'm gonna come back again and uh, you know chat a little bit about how the scholarship no, no is helping you uh, uh, the quality of assistance that we uh, receive and the demand <laughs> of how no, they, they expect us to come back home and their attitude as to how they help us and then at the same time, uh, you know, it's just kind of like there's that emotions of, you know, no, no, we give you no this and that. So I don't want to repeat myself. I'll do that now again later on. Okay, so adios. Thank you for watching. Adios. Good luck with your schooling and uh, no. no. No, what do you call it? Uh, study hard. Bye-bye.